Welcome, my name is Jack, and this is My Dream, another creation type game that is on Kickstarter at the moment, and by the time this video comes out, there will only be four days left on that Kickstarter. But the cool thing, this game is already funded, it's already made its goals, and so if you want to get in on it, this is the time to do so, and it's pretty cool. So we covered uh, Planets Cubed last week, and there are other, other games like this, like Minecraft and Terraria, but this one here is quite cool, and it's... I think it's very similar to Minecraft in some aspects, but it's more on the sharing and the creation side. Uh, a lot of uh, the building side of it. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, how the game works, functions, and then we'll look at the sharing, because the sharing part's where it's really cool. Uh, so this is a building I haven't built. Uh, this is Jack Tack's shack. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, that's the spawn area, by the way, the big dome. It's just a, a shack. This is all in beta, by the way. Everything here is just a work in progress. It's not very well optimized, I think, at the moment. But that's something they need to do later on. So, it's a massive jump. It's a, a, you know, a standard shack. Um, but what this game's about is about creating things and then sharing them with other people. And now, all these worlds... So, I just chose a flat world because this, this world runs really well on any computer. It's run on their official servers. And you can create a world on their servers, which is great and then you just build in it. But other people can come in and help. Now, first thought is, oh no, they're called griefers in, in most games. People who come in and destroy everything, like go around and just, you know, break everything that's around you. Oh, by the way, when I go through my inventory, it plays piano notes, which I, I kind of enjoy sometimes. People might come through and, you know, just suddenly destroy everything like that, and be, oh, that's annoying. So you can lock uh, your creations from other people. But the game is all about sharing. Uh, before we go look at some of the bigger worlds that people have made, I want to point out two things. Firstly, there's a lot of RPG elements in this. When you create stuff, it's kind of creating adventures for people, and it seems like there'll be kind of adventure games where you can create and contribute, and you'll actually get XP uh, from, from building things or helping build other people's things. And in here, there's profiles, uh, achievements, uh, but somewhere, you can actually, like, there's customization here for characters, and there's not too much built in at the moment. I can actually change my height, that's the only thing, and if I'm male and female. Um, other than that, that's a massive club, by the way. So that's kind of amazing. Uh, so, there's a whole lot of aspects of RPG, but that's not built in just yet. The other thing is, the blocks are cubes, like everything in the game is cubes. And if I go to my inventory, there's lots of different cubes, or, you know, kind of angled pieces here. But... There's all, oh, by the way, there's also RPG elements like health or checkpoints and what, so you can create kind of mazes or challenges. But the terrain is not. This is a hole I built. Well, I didn't build it. I dug it. Using the the shovel, you can dig, and it's not, it's not like, block-based. It's much different. It's kind of a, you know, a combination of rounding and it, it's weird it's kind of interesting and you can see there's still the box i can put here but it's an interesting combination so i built this giant hole it took me about a minute or two and so i can build a room down here and so the landscapes look quite natural but the building is quite blocky it's quite interesting so what we're going to do we're going to jump into another world and what we'll jump into we won't uh search for jack's world you can see here once it sorts itself out there are plenty of worlds here to cram up here there's actually 55 pages i could go through now, what we're going to look at, we're going to go into, we'll look at Tom, because that's the biggest one. It's quite big. Egypt's actually pretty cool, but you can see the number of edits. Uh, the one that I just made, if I have a look at it, I wonder if it comes up. I've made two. I'm out on Jack Attack's shacks. We made 356 edits there, just building that little hut and, all, and building the building. This is my one from last, or a couple of nights ago, which I was playing around with. But this one here, the original one, called, if it will pop it up for me, a little game. There we go, Tom. It's got half a million edits. And you can see there's actually no, I think there's a, some players, there's one here. Uh, there's currently not many people playing because it's a very limited beta. Once I think the Kickstarter finishes, then it will open up to everyone. So I'm going to jump in here and I'll show you this world. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is the world I'm thinking of, but there's so many edits. It's just absolutely massive. It is going to be pretty intense on the system though and you'll see this computer really start to struggle and so there's going to have to be quite a lot of I guess, time built into optimizing, optimizing this game uh, it's a lot of things are happening if I'm downloading the whole world history a Minecraft because everything is I guess blocks it's 
There's only certain, you can just say, at this block is this, and at this block is this. There are like, you know, what's in the chest. It's, I think it's so much simpler. My dream's kind of going a lot more complicated. There's blocks, I guess, for what's, what's happening, but then there's the whole world mesh, and that is massive. I could also place dirt, by the way, and that is not, that is that, I don't know what you call it, but it's not blocks, it's those huge rallies. And then there's those RPG elements, like, you know, quests and stuff, and it keeps track of who's edited where, and so you can get XP. It's, there's quite a lot happening here. There's supposedly going to be two modes in the final game. That's what they've currently said, and there could be more. There may be less. Survival mode, where it's, there are, you know, happiness by day, and then by night, it's, you know, not great things. Okay, the game's starting to struggle now. It's parsing the world history and building the map. And it's where there's be those evil creatures, and so you have to build shelter. It's what we've seen in Minecraft and many other games. And then there's that creative mode as well. But I really think this game works much better on the creative side. So here we are on a server. It's not the Tom server. That's not a great example. I thought this would be a better server to look at. And like, it's a pretty cool building, but it's when people come together that you get massive cityscapes like this. This is pretty awesome. This, some people have made some massive poles there. When people come together and can work towards a common goal, you can get some pretty awesome buildings. And this has probably just been made by a couple of people or maybe even a, a large army. And it's really cool to see you know, the effort put into this. And it's lovely houses like this, which are built on the server Sparta. They look awesome, look like lovely Egyptian houses. And when you look out, there's some pretty awesome creations, including massive, it's kind of the view distance doesn't do it justice here, massive islands chained to the ground. There's a, another spawn area here, but it's beautiful. It's really cool seeing people come together and make these things. And you can see the frame rate is taking a hammering there. But if you like this kind of game, check out the Kickstarter game. This video is just to show off what it's like. And I hope, you know, if you like these kind of games, you are able to support it or at least follow it along. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.